There are two bolts on the bumper cover up here next to the headlights. Both 10 millimeter, remove those. And it's a little difficult to see, but not too bad. Inside of each wheel well, at the end of the bumper here, you'll have another 10 millimeter bolt that you have to remove. And there's one on each side, so do the other side as well. And from directly underneath the car, you'll see several bolts all around that hold these splash shields onto the bumper and those bolts have to come out. I'm just gonna ensure that that's all of them. All right, let's go back up top. Starting from the side, I'm gonna pull out on the bumper cover and forward at the same time, that's gonna unlatch it from here, just make sure it doesn't go flying. Do the same to the other side, but support it so that it doesn't fall off. There we go. Now you can pull the bumper cover right off. Oh, and that piece of styrofoam fell, that's okay. To reinstall the bumper, put the styrofoam piece in first if yours fell off. Make sure it stays and reinstall the bumper cover. Line it up. And what I'm gonna do is actually put in these bolts up here first. That way I can make sure it doesn't fall on me while I'm underneath. So start these on. I'm not gonna tighten them up yet because I wanna put all the other ones in first so I can position the bumper if it needs to wiggle just a little bit. And line it up here. Same to the other side. Put the splash shield back up. Make sure that it gets tucked underneath everywhere where it does have to tuck under the bumper. With the car lowered, I'm gonna snug these two up. Don't forget about these side screws here that hold the edge of the bumper, snug those up. And do the same to both sides. 